Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and many of you know that I work in an international company in Hamburg, so at work I mostly speak English. And I remember that at least two colleagues from Britain already told me that my English sounds pretty good, but totally American. After uploading my first English videos here on YouTube, the same comment kind of appeared over and over again. Which made me think, because at school my teachers always told me to focus on the British English kind of spelling and pronunciation. So if I was supposed to speak British English at school and then worked with British colleagues, how did I end up speaking American English? Before I decided to make this video, I spoke to other Germans that also speak a lot of English. I mean, maybe it's just me? But almost all the others confirmed that they also kinda adapted to the American English pronunciation. Please don't get me wrong, maybe throughout this video it may sound like American English is a bad kind of English, which it is not. I'm pretty proud of my American English accent. I just want to understand how I happen to speak it. So why? I am not an expert and this is not a professional linguistic study, but I have my theories. First of all, yes, Germans do learn a lot of English at school and we are mostly told to focus on the British English version of it. But all in all, I doubt that the majority of teachers actually knows the difference themselves. The spelling, okay, that's something you can get used to, but most of the teachers I learned from didn't speak English fluently themselves. They were hesitating and also making really bad mistakes. For example, I remember one teacher starting every lesson saying, hello everyone, now we start, which may give you a little impression of what I'm talking about. Many of my teachers were struggling with speaking, well, you know, English. Caring about the American or British way would have been the next step. Don't get me wrong, I also had some very good English teachers, but let's say out of 25 teachers I had during my whole school time, maybe four or five had skills that I really trusted in. Blah, you're always criticizing, but look at yourself, your English sucks as well. Yes, I know, it's far from perfect, but this is not the point of this video. I'm spacing out anyways. Let me know if you want another video on my school education, then I'll take care of that. However, this teacher thing cannot be generalized. This is my personal experience growing up in a pretty small city, and hopefully a new generation of motivated teachers will fix this problem. But nonetheless, it might be one of the reasons for me speaking American English. We were told to speak British English, but the teachers didn't. They spoke like a strange mix out of British English, American English and wrong English. We didn't, and no one knew the difference or cared. So it's no big surprise that we didn't end up speaking what they were told to tell us to speak and they didn't even know what that meant. Second point, the many influences that we had as young adults to come in touch with English. My point of view is that the school education in English is like a block of concrete. They hand you a hammer and a chisel to make something out of it. I'm sure there has never been a better metaphor for this. But if you really want to make something else than this out of your English skill cement block, you have to invest private time and be motivated by yourself. So what options do you have? Well, first of all, the internet. English videos and movies in the original language, listen to English songs, visit English-speaking countries or spend a year abroad. But I would dare to say, maybe I'm wrong, most likely I'm not, that doing any of these things, the chance of you getting in touch with American English is a little bit higher than you getting in touch with British English. To sum it up, if you learn English by yourself, you will most likely hear a lot of American English and get used to it. The third point I want to mention is the one that I personally find the most interesting, but it's also the one that I'm the least confident about. My theory is that British English sounds more similar to German than American English, and that this is another reason why we kind of tend to adapt to the letter. If I, for example, take the word letter, then in British English, this would be pronounced as letter, while in American English, it would be more like letter. Please correct me politely if I'm wrong. Now let's pretend the word letter would be German, since Germans tend to pronounce words ending with vowel plus R as vowel plus A, the word letter would be letter, pretty close to the British English pronunciation, isn't it? American English puts way more emphasis on the R, car, for, bear, car, for, bear, and now German, car, for, bear. Sorry for my lousy attempt to imitate all of these different accents, but you get the point. I know what you may be thinking now. If British English is closer to German, then it should be easier to learn and more people should choose it, right? And I agree, that would be logical, but I think the reality looks a bit different. 
If I learn a language, I kind of expect it to sound different to what I'm used to. If something would sound too similar to German, I would always have the impression that I'm doing something wrong or that I have a really strong German accent. British English might not be different enough to give us this amazing I am getting used to speaking a completely new language achievement feeling. So I guess this could be another reason why some Germans tend to use American English. Because it's something new, something uncanny, that gives us the impression that we have left the German universe and joined the English one, instead of being stuck in a weird dimension in between. Can you still follow me? Yes? Well, then at least one of us can. So yeah, these were basically the three reasons that I see why Germans tend to use American English instead of British English. Our school education that leaves a lot to be desired and doesn't really teach us the difference. Then the many media influences that we get, especially when we try to teach English to ourselves. And last but not least, the similarities between the German and British English pronunciation that may confuse us. Tell me what you think. Do I have a point or did I miss something out? Are you German and speak a lot of English? What kind of accent do you have? How did you learn it? And what do you think are the influences for it? Please let me know in the comments and maybe if you scroll down anyways, leave me a thumbs up because that's always a really helpful feedback for me. Now I wish you all a very beautiful day. Feel free to click through my other videos and see you in the next one. Bye!